The popular American police drama series, McLeod, aired from 1970 to 1977, capturing viewers' hearts with its unique storyline. The show, created by Herman Miller, featured Deputy Marshal Sam McLeod, portrayed by Dennis Weaver. As part of the NBC mystery movie series, McLeod became a favorite, known for its cowboy and the city theme. While we cherish the excitement and entertainment it brought us, we also remember the cast members who are no longer with us. Dennis Weaver, a talented actor, was best known for his role as Deputy Marshal Sam McLeod in the popular 1970 television series McLeod. Born on June 4, 1924, in Joplin, Missouri, Weaver pursued a career in acting that spanned over five decades. After serving in the United States Air Force during World War II, Weaver began his acting career in the late 1940s. He appeared in numerous television shows and films throughout the 1950s and 1960s, including roles in Gunsmoke and The Cheyenne Show. However, it was his portrayal of Deputy Marshal Sam McLeod that earned him widespread recognition and success. McLeod premiered on NBC in 1970 and ran for five seasons until 1977. The show was set in New York City, where McLeod was sent to work with the police department after arresting a notorious criminal in his hometown of Taos, New Mexico. The show's premise was centered around the cultural clash between McLeod's cowboy-like demeanor and the urban environment of New York City. Weaver's performance as Sam McLeod was praised for its authenticity, and the character became an iconic figure in American television history. His portrayal of McLeod earned him a Primetime Emmy Award for outstanding continued performance by an actor in a leading role in a dramatic series in 1974. In addition to his acting career, Weaver was also passionate about environmental causes. He founded the Institute of Economics, a nonprofit organization dedicated to promoting sustainable living practices and environmental education. Weaver was a strong advocate for alternative energy sources and even installed a wind turbine on his ranch in Colorado to demonstrate the benefits of renewable energy. Unfortunately, Dennis Weaver passed away from cancer on February 24, 2006 in Ridgway, Colorado. His legacy as an actor and environmentalist continues to be remembered and celebrated by fans and admirers alike. J.D. Cannon, an accomplished actor, is best known for his role as Chief of Detectives Peter B. Clifford in the 1970 TV series McLeod. Born on April 28, 1922, Cannon had a long and successful career in the entertainment industry. Before his role in McLeod, Cannon appeared in several notable films, including Rollerball and Cool Hand Luke. In Rollerball, he played the role of Cletus, while in Cool Hand Luke, he played the role of Dog Boy. Cannon's portrayal of Chief of Detectives Peter B. Clifford in McLeod was highly regarded, and he became a familiar face to TV audiences during the show's run from 1970 to 1977. His character was known for his no-nonsense approach and his ability to solve even the most complex cases. After McLeod, Cannon continued to work in TV and film, appearing in shows such as The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, and Murder, she wrote. He also appeared in several movies, including The Apple Dumpling Gang and The Greatest. Cannon passed away on May 20, 2005 in New York, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. His work in McLeod remains a highlight of his career, and he is fondly remembered by fans and colleagues alike. Ken Lynch, the actor who played the role of Grover in the 1970 TV series McLeod, passed away on February 13, 1990 in California. His career in film and television spanned over 180 credits, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Throughout his career, Lynch appeared in various TV shows and films demonstrating his ability to take on different characters and genres. His roles ranged from police officers to lawyers, doctors, and even ordinary citizens. Despite the diversity of his roles, Lynch always brought a unique and authentic touch to each character he played. Lynch's portrayal of Grover and McLeod was one of his most memorable performances. The show, which aired from 1970 to 1977, followed the adventures of a New York City police detective who was transferred to the police department in Taos, New Mexico. Lynch's character, Grover, was a local police chief who often clashed with the main character, McLeod, but ultimately respected and admired him. Ken Lynch's contributions to the world of television and film were significant. He worked alongside some of the most talented actors and directors of his time and left a lasting impact on the industry. His legacy continues to inspire and influence new generations of actors and filmmakers. Despite his passing, Lynch's work remains relevant and continues to captivate audiences. 
His ability to bring characters to life and create memorable performances has resonated with viewers for decades. Whether playing a police chief, a lawyer, or a doctor, Lynch always delivered a compelling and authentic performance that left a mark on those who watched him. In conclusion, Ken Lynch was a versatile actor who left a lasting impact on the world of television and film. His work in McLeod and other productions showcased his talent and versatility as an actor. Although he passed away in 1990, his legacy continues to inspire and influence new generations of actors and filmmakers. Diana Muldor, an accomplished actress, is best known for her role as Chris Coughlin in the 1970 TV series McLeod. Chris Coughlin was a determined and intelligent assistant district attorney who often found herself working alongside the show's main character, Deputy Marshal Sam McLeod. Muldor's portrayal of Coughlin was well received and her chemistry with Dennis Weaver, who played McLeod, was a highlight of the series. Beyond McLeod, Muldor had significant roles in other popular TV shows, including Star Trek The Next Generation and Ella Law. In Star Trek The Next Generation, she played two different characters, Dr. Catherine Pulaski and Vice Admiral Elena Nechev, showcasing her range as an actress. In Ella Law, she played Rosalind Shays, a high-powered attorney who became the first regular character to be killed off on the show. Throughout her career, Muldor was also an active advocate for animal welfare. She served on the board of directors for the Los Angeles Zoo and Botanical Gardens and was a vocal supporter of animal rights. Diana Muldor passed away in 2022, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and a commitment to making the world a better place for animals. Her work in McLeod remains a beloved part of television history and her contributions to the entertainment industry and animal welfare will not be forgotten. Sidney Clute, a well-known actor in the 1970s and 80s, was best recognized for his role as Detective Sims in the TV series McLeod. Born in the early 90s, Clute had a long and successful career in acting, with his role in McLeod being one of his most memorable. In McLeod, Clute played a supporting role to Dennis Weaver, who starred as Deputy Marshal Sam McLeod. Detective Sims was a no-nonsense, by the book police officer who often clashed with McLeod's more unorthodox methods. Despite their differences, the two men developed a mutual respect and friendship over the course of the series. Clute's portrayal of Detective Sims was widely praised for its nuance and depth. He brought a sense of gravitas and realism to the character, making him a believable and relatable figure for viewers. His performance was a key part of the show's success and helped to establish McLeod as one of the most popular TV series of the 1970s. After McLeod, Clute went on to appear in several other successful TV shows, including Cagney and Lacey. He continued to work in acting until his death on October 2, 1985 in California. His passing was mourned by fans and colleagues alike who remembered him as a talented and dedicated actor who had made a lasting impact on the world of television. Today, Sidney Clute's legacy lies on through his work, and he is still remembered fondly by fans of McLeod and other classic TV series. His contributions to the world of acting will not be forgotten, and his performances will continue to be enjoyed by audiences for years to come. Ken Scott, a talented actor recognized for his versatile performances, was born in the early 20th century. He began his acting career in the 1960s and quickly gained attention for his notable roles in various films. In the 1970 TV series McLeod, Scott portrayed Polk, a character that left a lasting impression on audiences. His ability to embody different roles was evident in his previous works, such as The Hustler and Captain Newman, M.D. Before his passing on December 2, 1986, Ken Scott had established himself as a respected figure in the acting industry. His contributions to the world of television and film were significant, and his fans continue to appreciate his work to this day. Throughout his career, Scott demonstrated his range as an actor, taking on diverse roles that showcased his talent. His performances were always memorable, leaving a lasting impact on those who watched them. Ken Scott's legacy in the acting world is undeniable. His ability to bring characters to life and captivate audiences with his performances will always be remembered. Although he is no longer with us, his work continues to resonate with people of all ages. In summary, Ken Scott was a talented actor who left a lasting impact on the world of television and film. His versatile performances in various productions, including McLeod, The Hustler, and Captain Newman, M.D., solidified his place as a respected figure in the industry. Scott's legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day.
John Finnegan, the first desk sergeant in the TV series McLeod, passed away on July 29, 2012 in California. Finnegan was not only an actor, but also a voice artist. In McLeod, Finnegan played a crucial role in supporting the main character McLeod, who was a deputy from Taos, New Mexico, trying to adjust to life in New York City. Finnegan's character, Sergeant Finnegan, was a seasoned police officer who helped McLeod navigate the complexities of big city policing. Apart from his work in McLeod, Finnegan collaborated with John Cassavetes, an acclaimed American film director, actor, and screenwriter. Cassavetes was known for his innovative and independent approach to filmmaking, and Finnegan was fortunate enough to work with him. Moreover, Finnegan lent his voice to the animated film An American Tale. The movie was a children's classic that told the story of a mouse named Feeble who gets separated from his family while immigrating to America. Finnegan voiced the character of Papa Mouskowitz, Fievel's father, who led the family on a journey to find their lost son. John Finnegan's contributions to the world of entertainment were significant and enduring. His work in McLeod and other projects left a lasting impact on audiences, and his voice work in an American tale brought joy to children and families alike. Although Finnegan is no longer with us, his work continues to resonate with people of all ages. Terry Carter, the talented actor who portrayed Sergeant Joe Broadhurst in the 1970 TV series McLeod, is highly celebrated for his contributions to the entertainment industry. Carter's exceptional acting skills brought the character of Broadhurst to life, making him a memorable and essential part of the show. Beyond his work in McLeod, Terry Carter is also known for his musical talents. He has demonstrated his versatility as a performer, captivating audiences with his range and depth. Throughout his career, Carter has remained an active and influential figure in the industry, inspiring generations of actors and musicians. To this day, Terry Carter's impact on the world of television and music continues to be fellow tenant. His enduring legacy is a testament to his talent, hard work, and dedication. Fans of McLeod and Carter's other works cherish his contributions to the entertainment industry, and his influence can be seen in the work of many performers who have followed in his footsteps.